we're going to be constructing a 90 degree angle. We're going to do this two ways. One uh, method is by using the perpendicular bisectors to do it. And the other method, we're going to use one of the circle theorems to construct the 90 degree angle. Okay, to begin with then, we're using the perpendicular bisector method. Start off by drawing a line. Okay, get your compass and construct the perpendicular bisector. So set your point um, on the end, get your pencil over halfway, do an arc above the line. An arc below the line, switch over, make sure you keep the compass the same size, arc above, and arc below. And then, what you can do is, depending on how you want to do your 90 degree angle, okay, you line up where those two uh, the intersection points, and then you can either, if you want to, just start at the line and go up, and then that means that that would be a 90 degree angle. Okay, So there you've constructed a 90 degree angle. If you wanted to, you could rub out that part there. Um, you know, But you know it's a 90 degree angle. Uh, next method, we're going to uh, use one of the circle theorems to help us. This time, we're going to construct it using one of the circle theorems. So get your ruler and draw part of a line. Or draw a line. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to choose a point up here somewhere. Okay, Set it a certain, uh, about four, five, six centimeters away, just so that you, whenever you're using your compass, you've got a decent sized circle, okay? So choose a particular point in here there, okay? Then, get your compass and put the point of your compass there and the pencil at the end of the line, like so. Okay, now draw a circle so that the end of the line is on the circumference, like so. Fantastic. Okay, that means we have constructed a, or drawn a circle where that's the center and the end of the line is on the circumference. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw the diameter from this point through the, the center to the other side of the circle. Okay, so like so. So making sure that you're lining up this point and the center absolutely perfectly and you draw that circle, uh, that diameter like so. Okay, then you join up this point and the point above it like so. And then this then has to be a 90 degree angle. The reason is any triangle that is inside a circle uh, where the diameter is the um, through the center, like so, means that the angle will have to be 90 degrees. So whenever you look at your circle frames, it's circle frame number two. So watch the video on circle frames, see why that's the case, okay? Um, but this angle here is 90 degrees.